This video shows you how to troubleshoot an iPad Air 2 that's not charging past 80%. There is a direct correlation between why your iPad is in charging past 80% and your iPad, you know, getting quite warm or your battery getting quite warm. There are a smorgasbord of reasons why this has happened, ranging from charging and using your device at the same time using the GPS and real-time navigation controls on other devices, streaming a high-quality video for an extended period. It could also be that your battery isn't getting charged a certain percentage because you're setting up your device for the first time or restoring it from backup. It could also be that you're using a graphic intensive or augmented reality apps and you know, or you're also using a processor intensive app like a synthesizer um, a video editor or a digital audio workstation. These are probable reasons why your device feels warm most of the time. If the battery of your device is exposed to extreme temperatures or liquid, it may result in the battery getting overheated and unable to charge, and as such may be in need of service, repair or replacement. And also, a faulty charger or an issue with your micro USB port on your device may be preventing the iPad device from being charged correctly. There are instances where a bad network connection can heat up your device whilst it is searching for signals, especially in areas with poor network connectivity. And so to prevent from overheating, remove the iPad case, switch on the airplane mode to disable all connectivity, move it out from direct sunlight and, and direct a powered fan at your iPad. Do not put it in a freezer, a cooler or a fridge. And you know, lastly, reduce the display brightness of your iPad, okay? Your iPad will get warm if you use it for any length of time or protracted periods. This is perfectly normal, as opposed to the other contributing factors in the aforementioned. Suffice to say, the three core probable reasons why the iPad gets too hot, overheats and will not charge beyond a certain percentage is likely because the charging port is broken, you know, the charging cable is worn out or is defective, or is, isn't the original charger that's come with your device, or that the battery is damaged, okay? In this instance, the battery wouldn't charge past 80% or 89% in real time. So let's troubleshoot the error. We tap on settings, then scroll upwards to general, then tap on battery to see the battery health and the last percentage the battery was charged up to. And also to get a synopsis of all the applications consuming power or using up your battery. If your device isn't in the low power mode, toggle to the low power mode and refresh the battery percentage by toggling left and right, okay? And turn on airplane mode to lower the power consumption and to reduce the overheating in your battery. Consider that getting a new charging cable as low quality or incompatible chargers can cause charging problems that lead to overheating. So, to avoid this issue, use chargers that come directly from your iPads or devices manufacturers or from a reputable third-party supplier or rated A supplier. And having swapped the defective charger with the original cable from the manufacturer, I was able to achieve 100% charging on the iPad. Other safety tips with regards to lowering power consumption or heat dis dissipation is that you know when using your iOS or iPad OS device in very hot conditions, you know it can permanently shorten your battery life. So store your device where the temperature is anywhere between minus 20 degrees and 45 degrees centigrade, okay? And do not leave your iPad device in your car because temperatures in parked cars can exceed this range. And you can see that the original charging cable has been able to achieve 100% battery charging capability. Okay, so we've got 100% on the battery, which suggests or implies that the prior cable was defective. Okay, and that's about it really. If you found the information useful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, help the channel grow. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening and hopefully catch up with you later. Goodbye.